What's up guys, welcome to this video. But I've been feeling that in my recent videos, I think I could be making them a little bit better than I currently am. I think the whole format of the intro, the build, that's all cool, but I don't think I'm doing it in the best possible way or the most entertaining way. So I've made a few changes to the studio, Got some new lights over there. Over here, got some new stuff going on as well. And another thing that could make these videos more interesting is me talking less for long periods of time. So with the new Justice League movie coming out, we're gonna make the Justice League Batman Batarang. making this batarang uh, out of a saw blade. Got a seven inch saw blade right here. So let's make a template, slap it on here and uh, figure out how we're gonna cut this thing out. Link in the description for the template, let's go. break to thank my Patreons for donating to this channel, uh, helping me do what I do, writing names on this wall. I'm gonna write a few right now, actually. Uh, if you wanna donate and have your name written on the wall to be part of my videos, uh, link below. Thinking on these tiles, silver on black, good contrast. Let's do it. Ah. Shout out Nate and Rishi for donating. Thank you very much. Names on the wall. At this point, we've attached the printout of the bat to the saw blade. Um, I just used a little bit of a spray glue. Honestly, if you just trace around it, you probably don't even need that. But what I did find is that the spray glue acts surprisingly like webs. Um, could be an upcoming project. Yeah, look out for that in the future. All right, montage of me cutting this thing out. Go. <laughs> So we finished up the uh, first bit of cutting out, I guess. Still a little rough around the edges, but definitely taking shape nonetheless. I'm pretty much just gonna take a grinder, polish up these edges, get it looking nice. <laughs> One thing that sets apart uh, the Justice League Batarangs from previous Batarangs is these lines right here. As you can see, the paper is still on the blade, um, so pretty much all I'm gonna do is take the cut off Dremel bit that we've got right here and just kinda go over these lines a little bit just to give them a little bit of uh, depth and make this thing more accurate to the movie. Or as accurate as it can be for like seven bucks. All right, let's do it. <laughs>
check this out, guys. Let me know what you think. This right here is our finished, like, seven and a half dollar uh, Justice League style battering. Honestly, not too difficult to make. Surprisingly, cutting with a Dremel worked really well. Um, I probably got the thing cut out in maybe like 10 to 12 minutes and shaped it down for a little while. Probably actually took more time. But yeah, overall, this can be done uh, relatively quickly. Also got the grooves in there, the signature of the new Batarang in the movie. Um, and then because the saw actually does have a hole in the middle, um, no way around that. Uh, so you get a really big saw blade and just uh, make the Batarang around the hole. But the seven inch saw blades are super easy to find and also pretty cheap as well, which is why I uh, use them for this build. So what I did to cover this up a little bit is actually just attached a circular uh, wheel right there. This I think is like an old Dremel bit actually. I know it sounds funny, but believe me, like I tried a few different solutions um, and none of them actually looked like quite as good as this. Like I think this kind of blends in. Uh, plus if you have it on your hand, like you can't even tell that it's there. Um, like I tried razor blades, um, so this would like fit like right there, covering the hole. No, I just didn't think like that looked as good as uh, just this circle. I also tried uh, using some other metal circles, but honestly the silver color just looked like I was trying to hide it, so I just wanted the black. So overall, pretty happy with how this turned out. So, let's go test it out. Alright guys, well hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, you know what I'm about to say. Thumbs up that subscribe button. I joined in the two. You, you know what I mean. Always trying to make my videos better. Uh, so let me know in the description what you liked and what you didn't like. Uh, what you want to see next. Just more stuff like that. Uh, also Patreon. Get your name written up there. Link in the description along with my Instagram. Yeah, but for a $7 build, not too shabby. I think we did good today. Anyway guys, that's it for me for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.